So yes, you did read that title right. I am leaving my school and major for the third time. So yeah, this video is exactly kind of what you're expecting it to be. I don't have any script. I'm just speaking about what's going on and the changes and how everything is basically just being thrown out the window and all over the place and I am so stressed. So yes, I am leaving my school again. This is the third school that I am leaving, third college. I'm changing my major again. And yeah, I know it's crazy and hectic and it's like, oh, if you're doing it for the third time, you probably do it for the fourth or fifth. Well, I'm going for the world record here. Just see how many colleges I can go to, how many majors I can try out. No, I'm kidding. But for real, I'm not going to, well, I was going to University of Wisconsin River Falls and don't get me wrong, that is a fantastic college. I loved it there. I had so much fun. And I was going for field biology, which also amazing major. I love my classes. And I've talked about this quite a bit before too in previous videos, like, hey, why are you changing if you do like it? And simply enough, I just don't see myself doing it as a career job around where I live. And I just don't think I'd enjoy it as a job. So here I am once again, changing. <laughs> So yeah, I really enjoyed the school. I have nothing bad to say about it. Quick backstory, if you're kind of new around here. After high school, I went to Columbia College Chicago for three semesters while doing film and directing. Then I went to my local community college for one semester, and now I'm at River Falls, but not for too much longer, doing field biology and changing my mind once again. And the big question is, what am I changing my major to and where am I going? And I'm sorry to tell you, but I'm not telling yet. I plan to keep that stuff kind of a secret for now, partly because I'm not 100% sure even if this is the path that I want to go down, and partly because I don't want to be saying things and then be changing my mind later, and I just want to kind of keep it to myself and figure things out on my own time, not really in a rush, and to see if I'll even like what this is. So yeah, I have ideas in my head of what I want to go into and the path kind of that I'd have to take to get there, but I'm not revealing it yet because like I said, I'm not even sure if this is what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do it. So you'll have to kind of stick around for that to see what kind of happens, but it is getting me kind of excited. But next semester, yeah, that's what my plans kind of are. I'll be working part-time and then also doing this form of schooling or internship with the kind of major, I guess you could call it, that I want to go into. Now watch like another year from now, I'll be like, oh, I'm changing my mind again for the fourth time. But no, hopefully this is the path that I stick on. And yeah, it's so hard to make decisions like this and decide what you want to do for the rest of your life as, you know, a 20 year old kid, basically. It's just kind of impossible to know and stick with that your entire life. So no, I don't feel bad for changing all these times because I'm still figuring stuff out like my personality and everything about me has changed so much just every single year basically. I'm learning new things, becoming a new person, and so my interests change and what I want to do changes with that. So yeah, that's kind of the background and what's going on behind it. And there's so many other people that change majors and ideas too, so like I'm not alone. If you're out there changing majors or schools, you're not alone as well. And so don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bad. I'm super excited. But I do feel bad a little bit just because I have to keep telling my parents, hey, I changed my mind again. And that's not easy, but they'll support you no matter what. I know my parents are. And yeah, like I said, I feel kind of bad, but they're my parents. They're supporting me through it. And I know in the end, I'm going to make it through it and just taking everything one day at a time, trying to figure everything out, make a plan. But yeah, in the end, I'm no longer going to be going to River Falls. I know I was only there one semester and like I said, I have all good things to say about that school and highly recommend it. And also the field biology program is very, very cool. I'm learning some very interesting things, but like I said, I just don't see myself doing that kind of career around here. And I brought up the idea of changing majors and stuff in previous videos, but this one is just kind of making it official that I won't be there with that major next year. And yeah, like I think I would love field biology and degree in like wildlife like that if I lived somewhere warm and tropical. I've been telling other people this too, like why are you changing? It's because I don't see myself doing it 
around here. I love working with animals and nature, wildlife, all that kind of stuff. And I think if I lived in like Florida or Hawaii or somewhere tropical, it'd be like dream job. But around here where it's cold and I'd have to work with like deer and mosquitoes and yeah, I just don't see myself doing that because it's not the environment that I want to work in. So yeah, that's kind of my reasoning behind why I'm changing majors because I don't see a career in it for myself, even though I do still really enjoy it. But yeah, exciting things coming. I'm super pumped to hopefully maybe get this idea or a couple of ideas actually that I have kind of finalized and get a plan set up to actually go through with it. But like I said, I will keep you guys updated when everything does become finalized and I do have an idea. So make sure to stick around for that. But that's basically everything that I wanted to say in this video because yeah, I don't want to hide it. I'm leaving the school again and that's everything that I have to say. So make sure to subscribe and stick around to see what the future kind of brings and what I decide on actually doing. But yeah, thank you so much for sticking through me with everything that I've been through the last few years, changing colleges and changing mind and stress and everything. But that's everything that I wanted to say in this video. So thank you so much for watching.